I'm joined by Gary O'Brien. So Gary, the Conqueror and Elite ranges are well known for their high spec. Should we expect the same for 2016? Absolutely, Joe. Um, one thing with Swift is that we do take uh, a fantastic build quality through into other ranges. The Elegance and Continental products have been very well received. It was a really a no-brainer for us to bring that build uh, quality into other ranges and the Conquer and Elite products fit that very well. It seems like you've got all bases covered there, but as for layouts for 2016, yep. what can our viewers expect to see? Uh, layout wise, for Conquer and Elite we've got some really nice layouts. We've got a new uh, 560 single axle uh, range in both products, Conquer uh, and Elite. And that very much is a, is a brand new layout. It originally launched on a motorhome concept. We had a, a, a rear bed at the back of the vehicle with a centre washroom and a centre shower. Um, but we've taken it further, putting a, a centre vanity unit in with two doors either side, so you can get to either side of the bed. Big forward lounge like we're in, like we're in now, but with a big 134 litre double fridge freezer. And we also take that layout into the twin axle version called the 650 which is a, a stretch version of it, if you like. Uh, the other one we're in now, which is the 565. This is a long bed, as you can see. We're virtually sat right close to the blinds, so it gives you a much bigger front seating area. This particular layout has two single beds. The offside bed is around about five foot eight. The near side bed at the back is six foot three in length, so it caters for most tall people. So all in all, Conquer and Elite, we've got a fabulous lineup for 2016. Aesthetically speaking, how have you made that more appealing on the Conqueror? We've got the new HD construction, which has many benefits. Certainly you, you, you can get a lot more seating. Top locker construction, we've taken the Arali Sen wood grain and we've complemented it with smoked oak uh, accents on the top upper locker doors. Kitchen area, we put a lot of work into the worktops. Uh, there's a range of worktops now called Fenix, which is a, a laminated worktop, very strong, very robust. Uh, easy to repair if you've got a scratch running through it. A great looking worktop, very pleasing to the eye. Um, so we've tried wherever possible to offer the customer a little bit more uh, value for money and improve on uh, a product range that we've done very well with. And one of the first things I noticed when I stepped in wasn't only the spacious size of the Conqueror, but yeah. also the abundance of light. How have you managed to achieve this? You know, if you're going on holiday, you want to feel happy, you want to feel settled, and, and light is very important. Uh, and as we are today, it's not a particularly very sunny day, but we're sat here with an abundance of light, three front windows, the sunroof is the big thing. And we launched that back in 2011. We were the first manufacturer to get involved with sunroofs. And that brings a huge amount of light into the vehicle. Um, and of course, LED, which the benefits of LED uh, are fantastic. You know, low battery drain, great product lighting. The light fittings don't get as hot as what the halogen lights used to do. So if you're away with children and you can touch the lights, you're not going to get a real sort of hot period on your hands. And of course, with these particular lights, you can swivel them 360 degrees and get a much better quality of light directed at what you're doing. So. I think all in all, we've got a, we've got a great lighting package uh, for, the, for 2016. You've mentioned the high-end quality of the nine models across both ranges, yeah. but what else can you tempt potential buyers with? The initial look of the vehicle, I guess, you've got the new LED lights on the, on the rear, which are becoming more and more popular. A lot of the automotive manufacturers are now into LEDs, so it's something that we've been majoring on for a long while, and LED side marker lights as well. So it does look nice when you're actually towing the vehicle, it looks a presence on, on the road. Specification levels, well of course, top end product like this, you'd have things like barbecue point, alloy wheels. On top of that, of course, you've got the uh, HD construction. So all in all, package wise, you've, you've, you've got a great product. I also understand you're being incorporating Swift Command. What exactly is that? Swift Command, it's uh, an app basically you can download from uh, most uh, platform if you like and what it does, it enables you to pre-program your caravan from your, from your phone while you're away. This one has got Audi heating as standard of course, you can just program your Audi heating to come on straight away. So your heating, your lighting, you don't have to come into the vehicle and switch everything on, you can do it from your phone. With the number of features that Swift owners have come to appreciate over the years, are they all still there for 2016? One thing we do major on is security, um, how easy it is to tow one of our products and you know from the outside of the vehicle you've got a stabiliser as standard, you've got shock absorbers as standard, you've got ATC or active trailer control which is standard, um, you've also got tracker, well, obviously tracker is very very important from knowing where your caravan is, 
and obviously you can get the benefits of a reduced insurance premium. Gary, thanks for your time. No problem, thank you. Thank you.